Hey guys, Aaron Hardigan here at the 2012 U.S. Army All-American Bowl in San Antonio with the winner of the NCSA Veterans Essay Contest, nine-year-old Amir Ward and his father, Aziz Ward, also the subject of Amir's essay. Amir, before we get talking about uh, you winning this contest over everyone, how's your trip to San Antonio been so far? Good. Um, I've had a lot of fun so far. What have you guys done? When did you get in and how much have you done since you've been here? Just watched TV and came to the game and everything, you know. I got to know, who's your pick in this game? With East um, or West? East. He's a good analysis. Now, your, your essay, Amir, was titled, My Dad, My Veteran, My Hero. Talk about, what, what did you write about, about your dad? And why is your dad your hero? Because, well, my dad, he's always been there for me. Uh, he's always there to help me out. He's always supporting me for something. He's telling me never to quit. And he stays on me to make me a better person. And that's all I have to say. I know you mentioned with his injury overseas, you know, he some of the things he, he does is a little bit limited. But what, what you guys do get to spend lots of time together. What kinds of things do you guys enjoy doing together? Um, we enjoy, like, playing games and, you know, messing around. And we sometimes we uh, sneak out at night in the middle of the night when mom sleep and we go buy games. Uh -oh. <laughs> so, yeah. <laughs> No, he, <laughs> dad's over here, Shh. we'll cut that one out, no. You, your dad was a big basketball player, but you, ch you you're kind of thinking football might be your number one. Why, why are you picking football? Because I'm good at it. <laughs> Plain and simple. What, what does dad do to help you in your football game? He, he helps me with it. He tells me what to do. He tells me if I do right or wrong. And, uh... Instead of me not watching TV and doing homework and everything all the time, instead of that, all of that stuff, he'll let me watch TV and see all the games and everything, you know. Hey, like I said, you're a great writer. Dad, when you read his essay for the first time, what were your emotions? I was just uh, amazed that he, that he felt that way about me. I mean, I, I try hard with him and, you know, we just try to keep him on track, you know, pretty much that's all. So I was just kind of amazed that he felt that way. Because <laughs> I'm, I'm in and out, you know. You know, I was in the military, so I was uh, going overseas back and forth. So something like that. I know his mother is overseas. How are the two of you handling that with your experience being over there? Oh, we're good. She prepared me, you know. When I was there, she told me what to do. She checks on me every two minutes. I can't, you know, <laughs> I can't do nothing right. So, you know, it's a, it's a tough, but... I'm getting it. Mm -hmm. Your dad's not buying too much candy, right? What are the chances we see this one out here in years to come? Oh, I, you're going to see him out here. There ain't no ifs, ands, or buts. He works hard, so, you know, he's going to be big like me. He out there hitting hard, doing everything. He trains hard, so he's going to be there. Well, hey, we're looking forward to seeing you. you got to promise to hook me up with an interview when you're here, right? And like I said, he's a great writer. He might be taking my job someday. We'll see. Until then, you guys enjoy the rest of your time in San Antonio and uh, have fun at the game. Me too. Bye. <laughs> Back to you.